Hi there, Signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be for the last part of July. My little thing, Palo Santo. I'm trying to get it lit. Get some Palo Santo lit and call in this Violet Flame to help us with this reading. Thank you, St. Germain. Thank you, Angel Dagiel, for giving us this beautiful energy. If you can imagine this flame of light purple flame going into your chakras through them grounding you too that's what we're doing that's what we're working with calling in your spirit guides and your angels and the entities that are able to meet on that in that energy <clears throat> okay Virgo Virgo. I'm going to pull a Celtic cross. What is the issue for Virgos? Seven of Cups. In the reverse, came out really quick, didn't it? Seven of Cups. In the reverse, really quick, saying something really clear right now. Challenge. Page of Wands. Heart of the Matter. Jeez, you're, the energy is just flying out. Five of Cups in the reverse. This is good. This is good. I mean, they're they're all good, really. You know what? I've got to be careful. There's a kitten on top of my chair. So I've got to be careful of how I swivel it around. Okay, Five of Cups. Letting go of disappointment, loss, sadness, regret, mourning period. It's letting go of that. Past energy, please. For Virgo, past energy, God, just, keeps, just comes out really quick. Three of Wands. Oh, lots of visualizing, lots of like um, you planning and looking forward to your future. Goal or destiny here for Virgo. Wow. King of Swords, discipline, taking the appropriate actions, the right steps be about rules for some reason I'm picking that up um, too or finding an expert a specialist we'll get more information okay what is the future energy looking like nice the nine of swords in the reverse is good <clears throat> you could be waiting on news right now some good news um, as you're saying your options clearly, you know, I think you just really know exactly what you want choosing wisely. The nine of swords being in the reverse is coming out of a dark period in life, maybe coming out of something even similar to like a depression, um, or anxiety or a time where we didn't really know like what we were going to do. And because it has something to do with the past, there's a solution that you'd already even thought up of in the past um, as to how you're going to move forward towards what you want, towards this journey in your life. So what about how you're feeling? Ace of Swords. Mm. Mm. Six of Swords on the bottom. Could I maybe peace or tidbit I never say that word a tidbit of information I'm not waiting on a tidbit of information I don't know what for what but we're gonna look for more what is in the environment ace and ones reverse dealing with something from the past or someone from the past oh not ever giving up the wounded soldier persist spiritual strength is un uh, un um it's impeccable. Your spiritual strength is impeccable. With the Nine of Wands. Ace of Wands here is something in the environment could be, I mean, could be dealing with something from the past still. Usually I take it as something that's really not inspiring you that much anymore. Mm. It has to do with the completion that you're wrapping up. Because this is a Nine, that would make the Tenth. It's some kind of completion that you are wrapping up <clears throat> where there's a, a lot of hard work went into this. Nine, nine, there's something about moving forward uh, towards your dreams. 
your life purpose awakening. Wow. It's coming out for, um, and it's connecting these, so I might leave it there, but this is your outcome. The Queen of, the Queen of Coins, upright. Um, and the path revealed. I'm getting the message, the path revealed here to you, or is going to be revealed. It, it, there's something that really, you got to really pay attention right now to. What, what did you visualize here in the past? What did you see where did you see yourself what kind of ships did you see coming in for you what what did you what did you feel like would be your next experience your next milestone that was met by your soul on your journey where did you think you would be at um it's tying into the heart of the matter about releasing the past the memories of the past releasing lots of things even uh, it could even be releasing over drinking right or over uh, medicating or escapism it's like it could be releasing the need for that too much i'm not putting anybody down for anything like it's everybody escapes now and then this is like releasing the need for it though there's something about being able to see clearly about enjoyment and the need that's trying to fill a hole like there's a different there's some kind of difference here okay and there's um a path that is that you're being awoke to awaken to really strong energy here I'm, I'm very curious about this Ace of Swords here. In, in the spot where it's how you're feeling, I'm real, real curious about that. Because to me, it's like somebody being on the verge of a brilliant idea. And it's something that was already, um, whatever this is, it feels like it's something that was already started in the past. Like just like an, like an element or something to it that was tied to something that maybe you know a person maybe you no longer associate with from the past but doesn't mean that whatever this was that you were dreaming of needs to die out is what it's <clears throat> interesting queen of queen of coins on the split too yeah so we'll dive in a little bit more on that um you're seeing clearly, you've seen clearly, is what's opening the, this path. It was always there, but your ability to see it correctly. And so now you're just waiting on kind of some good news, something to inspire you, to get you moving. Tell me a little bit more about Page of Wands. That's making me wonder uh, what the good news is about or what, what is this news that you're waiting on choose you to choose you for some it's for somebody or group or someone to choose you another three of ones whoa and I told you your energy is really strong tonight is super strong three of ones three of ones so we have six ones all together this is bringing you your victory your recognition you whatever you, this person just you are that person transport yourself into the eyes of this person what are they doing they're they're relaxed right holding on to their ideas inspiration that they have and they're visualizing what this future is going to be and what it's going to look like when it comes in it's like everything about this journey so the good news has to do with where you're headed, I must say. Where you're headed. All together, you have seven ones with just this. And, and it makes me feel like we need to pull in the energy of the seven of ones of moving forward without fear, with confidence. Seeing signs and synchronicities leading the way is the key. It's the answer. It's what's happening. I'm going to put it like that so that we can see that. That's beautiful confirmation that your journey you're visualizing is coming true. <laughs> is coming true, right? Overcoming personal limitations, anxieties, or feeling constricted in your head, in your head space. Tell me 
about the heart of the matter with the five of cups in the reverse tell me about letting go of this past energy what's this about letting go of this past energy okay the eight of coins in the reverse is it is it a disappointment with something at work or something that happened at work with work about work this usually indicates that there are changes that there's going to be changes made within the workplace or your everyday things that you do something that didn't work out it, that's what it is it's like okay this is what didn't work out maybe lost confidence or it could have took a, a you could have either had a hit to your self-esteem or could have made you just really lose confidence in somebody because of some, some kind of like lying or deceit that was present in this connection could have been in denial that 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 there that was what was going on or that somebody was sneaky lying to you keeping something from you uh it affected work it affected the finances it affected the everyday which of course that affects everyone right <laughs> something really affected the ability to work or or their ability to work somebody really could have uh, okay so here's where the kipper deck comes out <laughs> when i feel like i'm getting a little overloaded in messages Let's narrow this down. What do you want us to know about the Eight of Pentacles reverse, the Strength card in the reverse, and the Five of Cups in reverse? In denial about something. In denial about something. Working smart. Somebody wasn't working. You got the message that somebody said they were working, they weren't working. Lied to you about that was sneaking around and if they were working there was issues with what they were doing with the money <clears throat> wonder why the message is kept from you or oh, um, hmm. <laughs> it was like a higher higher self trying to give you get you the message but for whatever reason we were in this um, confusion could have been confusion due to being tricked she really lost confidence in somebody because of this, because of this, this issue. Ah, oh, like, um, why'd they have to lie is what came into my head. Why did they, why did they have to lie about it? That makes it worse or something like that. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Cups then. What are you seeing clearly? What option are you seeing clearly at this time? What it is that you really want out of life? <laughs> period what are you saying you're saying and you're feeling that you deserve a heaven on earth you can get a heaven on earth and that you're going to start putting the validity of your feelings and intuition on the top shelf for priorities it's going to be what you go after is this emotional completion and fulfillment creating your heaven on earth where you are happy everybody's happy everybody's it's not that everything's getting along all that well but i'm sure that's part of it but all needs are met all pretty much all wants are met material and spiritual when it's in the upright when it's in the uh reverse is that you see clearly that that's the something missing is it the emotional completion the emotional part of this <clears throat> That song, I don't want to feel like it did last night. It's called escapism. I don't want to feel like it did last night. Doctor, doctor, anything please. Doctor, doctor. You asking me my symptoms, doctor? I don't want to feel. <laughs> That's kind of what's coming out with that song. That's right, by the way, if you're looking at and uh, 070 shake um hmm. oh oh well we have doubles again so these are confirmations in the readings big time and when the message is right and ready for you to get the something missing it feels like this is an energy it's the queen of pentacle in the reverse it feels like an energy of wanting to be at home wanting to run a business from home wanting to have everybody involved 
wanting to get the finances back on track, being okay with you doing it yourself if you have to, knowing that you can do all of that. But that, that would also mean a completion for you here. You could feel like if there's a strain on resources at this time, especially if there is some kind of energy here jerking with your heart space when it comes to finances and work, it could make you feel less than less compassionate towards people around you and know that that's not like you, that's not your personality, that this is stress. <laughs> That this is stress caused and that this does flip around it does turn around you do have the this financial control stability uh, being able to do it all on your own if you want to with that Queen of Pentacles but you're going to be looked at as um, the perfect mate uh, because of being able to do everything on your own now you have the ace of swords beautiful um, it is your solution I said that somebody's on the, you're on the verge of this great big idea this um, brilliance, stroke of genius. There's something here. It's pretty big. It also, how like the now the kitten's like I I want to go, I want to go peep on in on this reading. <laughs> um, the solution. So there's something here about tenderness, right? About tenderness, gentleness, and uh, kindness during the hard times. Because there is, there's definitely a um, triumphant victory here for you, for sure. There is a triumphant victory for you and everyone. It's part of the, um, it's part of the solution here. Tell me about Nine of Swords Reverse. You can't get up there. There's a candle. It's this okay say so if your your worry is being absolved when it comes to the nine of swords and the five of Pentacles sorry yeah to the five of Pentacles my only card that's burnt here on the end but it is a hardship a financial a financial hardship a struggle it can even be worry about um, doing something kind of like on your own feeling but you find the solution to that because that is what the Nine of Swords in the reverse is, is you find your solution. Um, and this is the triumphant victory, the solution. Come on. So the King of Swords is, is exhibiting discipline over getting what you want in your life and taking really good care. You could be needing to find more discipline when it comes to nurturing yourself being good to yourself in regards to um, your health, health matters, good choices regarding to health, giving your cup, yourself the cup before you empty it to somebody else or give it to somebody else. So it could be like being more disciplined on like just that, taking, taking better care of yourself, being open and receptive to love, self-love, care, compassion, in touch with psychic ability, intuition, I'm going to get a Kipper card for both of those because they could be characters in your life too. You could have Pisces or Aquarius energy. You do have strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, just period. You have um, a strong Capricorn, however, full moon in Capricorn makes sense. Tell me about the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. It could be, okay, not so distant horizon. It could be a match could be a match here coming together one person who's more of a professional type like in the not so distant future one person who's very grounded logical this could be you since you have these swords um things can be done like need to be done like a certain way um they're the special to they're the person that knows <laughs> that knows they have hold a lot of information they have um also high honor respect from others because of their knowledge uh, because of the discipline that they're able to show or exhibit in their own lives that is honored by people um, and then we have the Queen of Cups which could be a person who's very open to uh, listening to you lending an ear kind of like a therapist vibe where they you know some people are just really calming their energy is just really calming they kind of make you feel comfortable just being in their presence yeah, there's like a telepathic bond or connection with somebody here. Um, 
with the thoughts card that I'm picking up on. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm not going to say that. I'm not <laughs> say that I'm just gonna get let's go to the ace of ones in the reverse what is wrapping up I would think the lover's energy and then the lover's energy also indicating that there is a new part I'm mean, okay I will say it I'm sorry I'll go back to what I said I wasn't gonna say is that it feels like some of you all in the goals and destiny will end up really meeting a warm inviting loving maybe a new partnership, romantic, something that comes or stems from business oriented, um, that comes from at first, maybe using somebody's advice on a professional level. Um, yeah, that's really what I'm picking out. I think this is our confirmation. Look at the angels coming together, almost like they're coming together to confirm that message of something coming together, meeting somebody on your path, whatever is not inspiring at this moment you could expect that to change for sure i have some friendships moving out of the way and i have some disappointments moving out of the way as you step into some major power here that is the um pathway that is the pathway the truth the pathway the enlightenment And your angels and your team uh, definitely are pulling the energies to come together. This is that energy that's meant to help help you on many levels. That's why I said first professional too, because there's there's a a give and a take. There's yin and yang energy here that I'm picking up on. Oh, there's also a child or the new beginning here. A wealthy man and marriage card popping up. Announcement. One, and so this could be a marriage, a bond, a commitment. Could be a benefactor, but it's somebody that is going to help. For one thing, it has a, a tremendous amount of respect here. Okay, so there's a lot of honor and respect just from like you being you doing what you do rather well. Um, and this commitment or the marriage, the coming together, it's something kind of quite new. And if you're looking at this wealthy man as somebody that, um, it feels like they're saying the attributes of this person, of this person is someone who would never give up, who works until they're exhausted and then keeps going. Maybe they need to watch out for their health. Maybe this is something about the two coming together, these energies coming together perfect for good harmony one helping focus more on health and de-stress minus sans escapism or escapism as needed uh this energy knows what to do when it comes to the moolah or the money how to make it how to get it and maybe wants to gift you with that information or an actual gift. I don't know because I'm getting the gift in here too. Queen of Coins though tells me like you can do it all yourself. This is just some kind of gift to get you going in the direction of a fresh new start. Four Cups in Reverse. King of Cups is the divine counterpart to that other energy. Sudden Wealth. 777. Seven, seven. I feel like jackpot to you. This could be a spirit child also. Sometimes they pop out uh, as that card, as quite literal in the future. Spirit child. Just waiting on news or something on a news sign or synchronicity to move forward. Tell me more about the queen of coins, queen of coins. Hey, and there's the news. There's the news to move forward. What? literally pops out when I say that. So this is what it is, okay? This is what it is. It is fast movement forward in its progress in a good direction. For some of you all, this is Cupid's arrow. That plot story just kind of intertwined itself right here in the environmental energy. So I'm not even sure if it's something that you know of yet. Um, it will be revealed as you see this is in the upright this one is in the reverse for judgment so 
you have so many signs and synchronicities you really can't um you can't miss this there's some kind of completion listen to yourself don't let yourself hold yourself back accept this um whatever this gift is from the universe accept it you'll like it you'll enjoy it okay so 108 <laughs> a nom cara unconditional love romance soulmates uncommon bond best friends under unchanging infinite love nice and that could be a friend uh energy too with the king of swords right nice okay okay dear john letter rejection cold hard truth breaking up divorce strange situation the final word cutting cords when something's not right or something's not working this is what's in the heart space at this moment what, what wasn't working right all right, cutting cords, convertible, many options, free will, adjacent possibilities, choices, flexibility, adaptability, potential change, freedom, excitement, enjoyment, going with the wind, scuba diver, going within, observation, zero point, self-examination, exploring the unconscious mind in the void, subliminal. Oh, and then fairy tale. <laughs> it's on the floor. Believe the impossible. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> believe the impossible. Romantic ending. Daydreams. Universal archetypes. Hopeful magic. Unicorns and rainbows. Aspire. Happily ever after. Fancy fool. Stories we tell. Fairy tale. I also have cake, celebration, ceremony, party, gathering with friends, family, honor. Remember, recognize, commemorate, graduation, anniversary, wedding, prom, birthday, and awards ceremony. Okay. Then, on the Oracle of Genetic Gifts, I have astrology. It says ancestral knowledge. With your astrology, something just comes kind of natural to you about that. Yoga instructor, so you focus on your body-mind connection. The maternal side, spiritual gifts, wisdom, inheritance by the mother's line. Pendulum reader, um, scrying, rune casting, dowsing. There's a little star. I have portal keeper, 3D to 5D ascension, fulfillment. <laughs> fulfillment, that's the truth, right? and 66 all multiples of six you have a heart of gold you are skilled at maintaining balanced stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones able to be the nurturer protector and provider all in one and that's that queen of pentacle i am generous 66 i am positive your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love you are encouraged to have faith the universe will provide for you while you're manifesting your inner desires i am positive and 222, two, two, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you are nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. Zero, zero, zero is on the bottom. You are one with the creator, and there are no limits to what you can achieve. You have the ability to create something new and incredible on your life in your lifetime here on earth. I am a creator. That's what I've got. And so that's what I have. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for those who have gotten private readings and done uh, any kind of super thanks. I appreciate the support. Sending you love. Bye-bye.